This video is made possible by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Jeff Bezos is a man with a lot of money. At the absolute pinnacle of his drug empire, Pablo Escobar was worth an estimated $59 billion in today's money. In September of 2020, Jeff Bezos' net worth exceeded $204.6 billion, more than three times the amount of wealth that Pablo Escobar ever held. Understanding just how enormous of a fortune $204.6 billion actually is, is quite difficult for the human mind. So in this video, I'll be doing my best to put that insane level of wealth into perspective for you. Let's begin with this map. Haiti, Madagascar, Mozambique, Malawi, Zambia, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Uganda, the Central African Republic, Republic, Cameroon, Djibouti, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Benin, Togo, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, the Gambia, Syria, Afghanistan, and Ukraine. Nearly 270 million adults representing 3.5% of the human population versus Jeff Bezos, a single man who has more wealth than every single person living in all of these countries have combined. Jeff Bezos' wealth is so astronomical. Imagine for a moment that you were immortal and you got a job that paid you $8,000 every single hour that you were alive. If you first got this job at the time of the birth of Christ and were continuously making $8,000 an hour every single hour that has ever happened since then across more than 2,000 years of history, you'd still not have anywhere near close to enough wealth as Jeff Bezos has. On July 20th earlier this year in 2020, Jeff Bezos' wealth increased by over $13 billion. In a single day, Jeff Bezos' wealth increased by more than the entire annual GDP of Madagascar, a country of over 26 million people. To put his overall wealth into even more perspective, Bezos' total fortune of over $204.6 billion is more than the entire annual GDP of Indonesia, the world's 16th largest economy, and home to over 267 million people. It is also more than double the combined net worth of the entire British royal family, which is presently valued at around $80 billion. But enough with comparing Jeff Bezos' fortune with countries and monarchs, let's compare his wealth to something a bit more easy for all of us to understand. Stand. The base price of a 2019 Toyota Corolla is $18,700. Jeff Bezos' fortune, if converted into pure cash, would be enough to purchase 10,941,176 of these 2019 Toyota Corollas. If Toyota concentrated 100% of its factories and production into only producing Corollas and nothing else, it would still take the entire company over an entire year to produce that many for him. Let's think of his wealth in another sense. The average American worker earns a salary of $49,764 per year. In order for the average American worker to save up enough wealth to match Jeff Bezos, they would have to work for 4,111,405 years. Put into another perspective, Jeff Bezos has added $70 billion to his wealth over the past 12 months, from September 2019 to September 2020. That means that over the last year, Jeff Bezos accumulated $9 million every hour, $149,000 every minute, and $2,489 every single second. Now, start a timer from September 1st, 2019 to September 1st, 2020. In just the first nine minutes of this year, Jeff Bezos gained more wealth than the average college-educated American woman will in her entire lifetime, and in only 15 minutes, more than the average college-educated American man will in his lifetime as well. 27 minutes into the year, and Bezos has already gained more wealth than the average American lawyer will in their entire lifetime. 45 minutes into the year, and he's already 
already gained more than the average American doctor will in their entire lifetime. Just five and a half hours into the year, and he's already gained more wealth than the entire net worth of David Solomon, the CEO of Goldman Sachs. Within the first eight working hours of the year, he's already gained more wealth than the entire annual GDP of Tuvalu. By the end of day two, his wealth has already increased more than the entire net worth of Beyonce. By the end of day three, his wealth has increased more than the entire net worth of Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. By the end of the first week, he personally gained more wealth than the entire annual profits of Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and Wing Street all combined. Within the first month, he, personally again, has gained more wealth than the entire annual revenue of GameStop, a corporation with 56,000 employees. Two months in, and he has acquired more wealth than the entire annual GDP of Zimbabwe, a country with over 16 million people. And finally, by the end of the year, he had acquired $70 billion, an amount of wealth that's largely equal to the entire annual GDP of Venezuela during the same year, a country with over 28 million people that controls the largest amount of proven oil reserves anywhere in the entire world. And all of this isn't even close to being halfway there to all of Jeff Bezos' fortune of $204.6 billion. Even compared to other historical figures from American history, Jeff Bezos is still extraordinarily wealthy. Adjusted for inflation today, Jeff Bezos is even wealthier today than Henry Ford was at the time of his death, and is roughly equivalent in wealth to Cornelius Vanderbilt during the Gilded Age in the 19th century. The wealthiest man to have ever lived in modern history was John D. Rockefeller, who at the time of his death in 1937 was worth an estimated $418 billion adjusted for inflation today, nearly double the wealth of Jeff Bezos. Rockefeller was so enormously wealthy that his net worth was equivalent to 3% of the entire United States GDP at that time. However, Rockefeller died with that net worth at the age of 97. Jeff Bezos has roughly half that amount of wealth, but he's only 56. In my opinion, it's very probable that within a few years, Bezos will not only surpass Rockefeller's wealth, but will likely become humanity's first trillionaire as well. Here's how. The average annual rate of return in the stock market is around 6% per year. If Jeff Bezos simply maintains that average rate of return on his wealth, then he will surpass the net worth of Rockefeller within the next 13 years when he's only 69, and he will become humanity's first trillionaire within the next 28 years when he's 84. It's very reasonable to assume that the world's wealthiest man with access to the best healthcare imaginable will survive to 84 years old. And by that time, it's probable that Bezos will have accumulated an entire trillion dollars in wealth for himself. $204.6 billion is an incredible incredibly difficult amount to visualize. But what's even more incredible is how rapidly Jeff Bezos has acquired that much. He was born to a 17-year-old mother still in high school, and his father simply owned a bicycle shop. He worked at McDonald's in high school, and he founded Amazon in 1994 inside of his garage. Founding a business is challenging, and founding a business that goes on to become the second most valuable corporation in the world that boosts you up to the world's wealthiest man is even more challenging. It takes a lot of skills and talents across a variety of different fields that each require practice. So if you've made it this far into the video and you're wanting to learn the skills it takes to be better at anything, I'd recommend that you go and check out Skillshare next, where they've got a ton of classes on pretty much anything you'd like to get better at. Want to finally take the jump and become a full-time freelancer? I'd recommend the class Going Freelance, Building and Branding Your Own Success by Justin Gignac. Want to get better at studying for exams? Exams? My friend Ali Abdal will teach you how in his evidence-based masterclass on studying. When you become a member of Skillshare, you can take these classes as well as literally thousands of others on nearly any subject you can imagine, from animation to web development. It's the absolute perfect activity for whenever you're stuck at home, have a lot of free time, or if you'd like to sharpen up your school or work skills. Best of all though, you can get a completely free trial of Skillshare Premium by being one of the first 1,000 people who use the link down in my description. By doing this, you can achieve all of your personal learning goals and help support my channel at the same time. So go ahead and check them out, and as always, thank you for watching.